Women's Girls Night as Impact Wrestling presents One Night Only Victory Road, Knockouts Knockdown. See the vivacious vixens of the Knockouts division compete against the top up-and-comers in women's professional wrestling. Who will walk away with an Impact Wrestling contract? It's wild, out of control mayhem as Impact Wrestling presents One Night Only Victory Road, Knockouts Knockdown. Premiering Friday, April 14th, only on pay-per-view. Welcome everyone for your Impact Wrestling One Night Only Knockouts Knockdown 2017, pay-per-view review for April 14, 2017. So the pay-per-view kicks off with introductions then immediately we cut to backstage segment with Rachel Ellering who is interrupted by Laurel Van Ness, they have words against each other that leads to LVN attacking Rachel backstage before pay-per-view starts then Jeremy Borish in ring as he introduces first female Hall of Famer in Impact Wrestling Gail Kim. Then Gail gives emotional speech happy to be back but says sadly she not cleared to compete tonight. Then we get introduction of first aspiring knockout Casey Quinn as she give her thoughts happy be at knockouts knockdown then JB introduce her opponent as six time knockouts champion Angelina Love. Then we get introduction of next aspiring knockout Leva Bates and we find out her opponent will be former knockouts champion Ali as Ali has new music. Then we get introduction of aspiring knockout Amanda Carolina Rodriguez and we find out her opponent is newest knockout Diamante. Next aspiring knockout is MJ Jenkins from New York, now this girl is very talented and she dedicated and took 22 hour bus ride to be here at knockouts knockdown and we find out her opponent is current knockouts champion Rosemary. Next knockout well aspiring knockout is Alicia Edwards competing at knockouts knockdown is this her second time competing knockouts PPV then we find out her opponent is former knockouts champion Sienna. Next knockouts are two wild cards as they are bother former knockouts, the first to come out is returning knockout Santana Garrett we then find out her opponent is Brandy Rhodes. Now the second wild card is former knockout the lovely, sassy, and kicking ass with some southern class, rebel. We find out her opponent is former four-time knockouts champion the one and only ODB. We were supposed have Rachel Ellering coming out as last participant but due to LVN attacking her before PPV that match is now in jeopardy and JB will give us an update later in show on this she will still be able to compete. Then we get backstage segment Angelina Love giving promo before her match. Now we see KC Quinn coming to ring for opening match against Angelina, we also find out on commentary that KC Quinn was trained by Jay Lethal. Casey was dissent in this match, of course she's still green but she is only 20 years old so it to be expected. Angelina pretty much carried majority of this match but Casey got some good offense in the match. Angelina picks up win then Angelina and Davey Richards start making out in the ring then we get highlights of match followed by backstage segment of Ali getting prepared for her match against Leva Bates as Ali excited to face Leva tonight. Now Leva comes out in a anime schoolgirl outfit holding a stuffed animal. Now we get introduction of Ali to ring in this hot pink attire with bunny logos that looks hot on Ali. Then they play game hot potato throwing stuffed bear over referee head, it was hilarious you have to watch this to see. This was good match I'm not going to spoil it of everything in this match cause this why you should watch the pay per view if you wanna know every detail of the match. Sienna comes out to interfere in match and cost Ali the match as Leva Bates picks up win. I rate Angelina Love vs KC Quinn match 6.5 out 10 and I rate Ali vs Leva Bates match 7 out 10. Next match starts as we get introduction of Amanda Carolina Rodriguez better known as ACR on the indies she comes out to Sarita's old theme, then we get introduction of Diamante to the ring as she accompanied by fellow LAX members Conan and Homicide to ring. ACR is a powerhouse in this match dominating the beginning of match against Diamante. A CR had better showing in this match than what we saw from knockout gauntlet match on impact a few weeks ago. Diamante picks up the win with sunset pin power bomb. I rate this match 6 out of 10. Now we see another sadistic promo of Rosemary backstage then we get introduction of MJ Jenkins to the ring for her match. Now Rosemary comes to the ring with crazy Steve, and I would like say I love the decay new entrance music better than their original entrance music. Crazy Steve cut awesome promo before the match and him and Rosemary try recruit MJ to join the decay. MJ got on mic and cut good promo refusing join the decay. Now this was probably one of the best matches on the knockouts knockdown pay per view this year, I recommend going back to watch this match on the show if you wanna know every single detail. MJ Jenkins has a lot of talent and potential in the knockouts division. Rosemary picks up win after Crazy Steve sprayed mist in MJ Jenkins face while referee was distracted. I rate this 8 out of 10. 
Now we get Sienna backstage as she gets prepared for her match against Alicia while also bullying Mackenzie Mitchell backstage then we see Alicia introduction to ring followed by Sienna's introduction. This was Descent match was one of better matches on card I rate it 7.3 out 10. It wasn't one of best in world but it's still good match. You wanna know full details then watch and order the show on pay per view. Ali comes out to return the favor of what Sienna did to her in her match earlier and Alicia picks up win. Next we see Brandy Rhodes backstage preparing for her match. Now we see Santana Garrett introduction to ring for her match against Brandy Rhodes followed by Brandy's introduction to ring. I will say this was back and forth match, Brandy improved a lot in this match and actually put up a challenge for Santana Garrett in this match. Santana won the match, I rate this match 8 out 10 so far this match and the MJ Jenkins match were best on the pay per view so far. Now we have introductions of Rebel and ODB for their match. And man I must say I love seeing Rebel back with this new gimmick. I love parts in match with Earl Hebner acting like a fool as beginning you just have to watch it to see what happened. Earl was trying get him some of Rebel and ODB in match he was actually rolling around on mat with them in the match, it was hilarious. Rebel and ODB have a lot good chemistry wrestling against each other. Rebel improved a lot in this match, way better than last year's match. Rebel dominated most of match and even tried to hit her split leg drop finisher on ODB but she rolled out of the way and made a comeback in this match with multiple clotheslines, a bronco buster, and various move combinations. Rebel went to second rope and hit flying thes press, went for pin then ODB kicked out, ODB hits the BAM TKO for the win. I rate this match 7.9 out of 10. Next we see what transpired earlier with Rachel Ellering followed by Laurel Van Ness introduction as she comes to ring. She grabbed Mike said since Rachel had an accident before show that she was unable to compete so she wanted Earl Hebner to declare her the winner then Rachel makes her way to ring bandage up on her shoulder and chest area. Then the match starts with LVN immediately going after Rachel's injured shoulder. Even with injured shoulder Rachel looked impressive in this match. I will say this was a brutal match you have to watch. It definitely gets 8 out 10 stars for this match. Laurel Van Ness wins the match with the curb stomp. And now it's time for the main event knockouts 8 person tag match. First off, I'm very upset they changed it from knockouts gauntlet match to 8 person tag match on knockouts knockdown. So what exactly does winning team get if they win if they are the knockouts on the roster? I get aspiring knockouts get contracts on roster if they win so it made it predictable the aspiring knockouts would win, hopefully next year they go back to the knockouts gauntlet main event match. So in main event we team knockouts. Rosemary, Angelina Love, Diamante, and Laurel Van Ness vs. Team Aspiring Knockouts, Santana Garrett, Leva Bates, Alicia Edwards, and ODB. Some good action to start the match, there was part at beginning where Crazy Steve tried to get involved before referee sent him to the back, we saw Angelina and Alicia go at it in match before Leva and Rosemary got tagged and then Laurel tagged herself in as her and Rosemary started double teaming her before Leva Bates made the hot tag to ODB as ODB started cleaning house when other team tried getting in match before tagging Alicia back in as she had some vicious forearms to LV and then went. For pin that was broken up by other team then all the knockouts got in ring and hit their finishers one by one. Then Alicia hit her modified reverse STO face buster on LVN as her team of ODB, Santana Garrett, Leva Bates, and Alicia pick up victory in main event match then Karen comes out to offer Alicia a contract but my question is why is Alicia the only one offered a contract if her whole team won unless they are going reveal the other three well two are signed since we already know ODB is signed. Hope this confirms Santana Garrett and Leva Bates are signed as well cause if not then what was purpose of having a tag match main event. Overall I rate this pay-per-view knockouts knockdown 7.5 out of 10 stars. And remember this review was brought to you by LB one of a kind you're done productions. Until next time remember that you're done until the next review, later.